my view is that there's nothing on there that is applicable to this committee currently that we're not already looking at. I think I think there's a number of items that are probably um, will go through other committees, um, but 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 not but not ISAG unless an, anybody else has got any uh, other comments on that. Okay. Um, item ten. Our working group updates. So we'd got a couple of working groups that were open. Uh, I'll just I'll deal with them, not in the order that they're on, uh, maybe on on, on the um, work plan. But um, we had the events one, which we discussed a little bit uh, last last time, and 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 Simon kindly suggested. Um, Sending the uh, effectively the minutes of that that working group round, so so people had uh, which new I did. Members had so hopefully everybody got it. Yeah. So so new members had had sort of a, a little bit of an overview of what that was all about. Um, I think with the view to perhaps there's there's not so much appetite at the moment for us to to be to be looking at that, um, and so un unless. Unless um, anybody's got any real passion for, for looking at that, I think perhaps we could park that for the time being, Tina. Yeah, I was just going to say, obviously, um, with what we're all going through with the pandemic at the moment, events are not on our radar, really. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, park it, uh, but with a view to bring it back when, when, when we can uh, do stuff again. Absolutely. Let's not lose it completely. Mm. Um, Thank you. Um, the other working group was the fireworks working group. Um, I've had some conversation with officers on that, and I think that's something we really need to uh, get back together with, out of sight of this room, and 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 have a bit of an update and and see where we want to take that. So, obviously, as we've got new members. Um, I, I guess I, I'm going to ask for who wants to be part of that working group. We can all go to the working group, or we can do it in a smaller, a smaller amount of people. Um, so it's an open invite. Um, I, I would suggest Simon um, is, is certainly part of that working group, as, as, as you were lead on it. I think when when it was brought up at. Well, uh, I proposed it at full council. Exactly. And yeah. I think Councillor Clements played a big part of the first yeah. meeting. So if. So if yeah. we're both are, and then anyone else who who wants to be part of could you circulate whatever you've had from officers so we know yeah because at the last meeting that was the unknown was wh what yeah. the officers could tell us because uh, they've been so heavily involved in everything else that was going on chair i think um i think all members attended last time i don't think there was i think we were all there because we did it on teams didn't we we did yeah um and i think it was a really good discussion um, and I think there was a few people that were amazed that you could actually go online and buy fireworks at any time of the year. I think, Simon, you were one of those. Well, uh -huh. well I, d I hadn't been online to see if I could buy explosives, but once <laughs> once it was obvious that other people had, we knew what the answer was. I, I'm always online looking for explosives. <laughs> nature of my, my past, but yeah, there we are. I won't admit to that. Um, you but just yeah, have publicly. Yeah, yeah. publicly. <laughs> um, I think it's a, it's a, it was a really good discussion, um, bringing it back to fireworks. Um, and I think, you know, uh, the new people that have joined us may have a different opinion or be of the same ilk as us. So uh, I think it'd be good if if we can get it back up and, and, and soon, because obviously we'll be September, October, November, December will be here before we know it. Um, and I think we as a borough, need to decide how we're going to manage that and uh, and going forward with officers okay thanks thanks Dina okay I'll I'll send send what I've got uh, around and we'll we'll uh, Dan sorry uh, thank you uh, just back to the events mm -hmm. um, with the Queen's Jubilee coming up next year when would that need to start planning if we were to do anything with that Okay, so it, it wasn't events as in planning a particular event. It was looking at our, in some respect, our overarching policy with regard to events and, and structure behind it. So not, not, not a specific 
arranging of events, if that if that makes makes sense. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, yeah, so fire, fireworks. Um, yeah. I'll cir- yeah, thank you, Simon. Yeah, I'll circulate. I'll circulate. Round. I thought you'd be pleased to know someone was listening. <laughs> <laughs> circulate rad, and then um, we'll we'll arrange, or I'll I'll, I'll get a, a meeting pending, and we'll obviously do that on Teams. I think. Yeah, I think Councillor Oates would remind you that you need to send out the meeting planner, wouldn't he? He certainly would. He certainly would. <laughs> um, so that's where we are in working groups. So. Item 11 is a committee work plan, and I think, I still think that's sound. There was There is one item I'd like to move forward with if, if I could have some support from, uh, from members. Um, the, there's been a, been a lot of um, press and um, and, and discussion, I think, um, and time taken up with regard to um, uh, travellers moving round and, and, and parking up on, on, on certain bits of, of land. And I think, I think as, a, as a topic, it perhaps would be useful for us to examine our, our policy um, and, and perhaps make some comment on, on that moving forward. Um, and. I think we have to be be careful how we how we look at that and 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 and, and treat it quite sensitively in certain in certain areas. So I'd I'd like to think we can put that on our work plan. Um, th- thank you, Rosie. And um, yeah, if if I can have everybody's support with that, Simon. Chair, yeah, no problem. I think with regard to. That issue, um, a lot of, I mean, we've all seen lots of emails about how much is it costing to clear up and all that sort of stuff. I think it would be good because I think people see it as a form of antisocial behaviour. If we could couple that with how much um, you know, it has taken, for example, to deal with errant institutions that dragged us through the national press when the first lockdown ended or indeed last week when they sent us into a covid spike not single-handedly but you know made a big difference so i think it'd be quite important that we see it as part of if you like asb in the widest sense you know that if if it has taken x pounds to tidy up a site that's you know, something which a lot of people are unhappy about um, but it would also be equally I think um, annoying to people to think that you know x hundreds thousands of pounds have been spent by officers having to go and shut down premises that chose to ignore guidelines and I don't think any of us would see either as being responsible so I think if it, if it could be widened to include that that would definitely be I think help to keep it proportionate because I remember when I was um, teaching years back now when uh, all the rage was to teach about Nazi Germany, I remember they had policies about travellers stroke whatever they called them at the time Um, and I remember one of the students said to me, why was everybody so up in arms about, you know, and, and, and why didn't they do something to protect them? And I said, well, as a local councillor, because I was one at the time, I said, I can tell you the attitudes sometimes aren't very different now. A lot of people would love me to have the power to move those people on. So, you know, I think it'd be good to say this is one aspect of ASB, but there are others, and none of them are ones we want to have to fund when it could be done differently. And that, that's not to gainsay the issue, because it's one of, of importance to a lot of people. But I think it shouldn't be just that. And if we make it not just that, actually we're making a wider statement about the council looking to people to behave responsibly and not throw their inconsiderate behaviour onto other people. Thanks, Simon. I, th- I, think, I think you make a, make a valid point there. Um, I'll, I'll draft some stuff up and 
and start to uh, we've got a, we've got a, a couple of months I think until our next meeting so it's something I'll, I want to start working on a little bit in the background um, and I think it will be a, an ideal um, an ideal tool to, to, to look at this will be through working groups actually um, before it comes through through scrutiny so we've got a, we've got some time and um, I'll, I'll be I'll be in touch with everybody with with regard to arra arranging perhaps a, a working group meeting moving forward um, chair can I just say yeah. on that that would be interesting to have um, some form of police officer discussion as well because I think where travelers are concerned I think the police let us down massively um, and I think they could do more and and they don't and it's because they don't want to um, antagonize the situation which I get um, I've dealt with travelers in in my role as an ex police officer in the past I just think we need to get their perspective for because at the moment my perspective is that, is that they could do more but actually have their powers changed what are their powers when we get travellers enter Tamaburra council sites or any other site in our borough and I think it'd be interesting to have that knowledge because pat policies within the police force have changed since I wore the uniform and I think it, it'd be interesting for us all to know what the, what they can actually do thanks thanks Tony yeah I mean, I mean that that I'm sure that will be um, part of our discussions moving forward but um, I think Chair, I think I think it's important because one of the ways that scrutiny can make a difference in in various councils is where they've looked in depth at a particular issue, and if you're going to look in depth at an issue, then what you're suggesting about working group makes sense because it, it's probably easier to get a small number of people together. But if you want to have a discussion with the police, for example, about that, and arguably perhaps also travellers. Um, it's easier to say, well, there's three or four people who can come and meet you in the day than can you come to a specific meeting at six o'clock on this night, which fits with the cycle of all the other meetings. But I think if we did that, what we would come back to committee with was a really well thought through, balanced, you know, the sort of report that could, could really stand out yeah. as something the committee's achieved during the year. And I, and I fully think that it, it's absolutely right that, you know, we talk to... Um, the police individually I mean individually as an organisation compared with what our officers would say or you know because it's different perspectives yeah. of different people who've got to go and deal with different issues and maybe also um, you know ask other officers from other authorities I mean the county for mm. example not just our own because they will have a view because they may deal with it here but they may also be picking it up in in moorlands or somewhere else so their perspectives are always that little bit different i think it'd be very valuable to do it in that really thorough way okay and uh, any any other comments no excellent okay um well we'll 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 we'll, we'll have i'll do some work on that i think our um, our work is done for the evening so i'll formally close the meeting at 1922 thank you very much